and welcome back everyone today i have a really nice one right here the tivo stream 4k android a lot of people have been talking about it and we're gonna go ahead and unbox it i'm gonna show you guys exactly what it is that you get is it any good what are the specs what comes inside the box firstly freshly installed without adding anything extra we're gonna do that right now. Now, before we begin, make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys do hit that thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what are you guys looking for for this year in the summer. I know a lot of people are like, well, it's summertime. I wanna go out and do stuff, but I'm stuck at home. What do I do? <laughs> for me, I if I can go on a walk, if I can get out there in nature and get some hikes in there, for me, that's great. I know some people are saying like, I'm gonna build my own water park. I got sprinklers, I got a hose let's do this so i might be doing the same thing so let's go ahead and jump into this one right here we're going to go into the device and let's go ahead and open it up so first off the bat look at the packaging on this thing the package looks really good you see here some of the stuff that it says some of the apps that you'll be able to get right off the bat and it's just going to be very easy to use it's going to be very simple you got your google assist your chrome there's no additional fees. If you have any kind of subscription stuff, you just log in. It's all there, good to go. It's gonna have some voice control, but the packaging on this thing is very, very nice. Let's look inside and see what you get. Now, first off the bat, let me tell you this. The paper that you get for the device is very high quality. It's just like the attention to detail on this is very nice. The quality on this thing is super good. Everything here tells you how to set it up, some of the user manual stuff, how to get started very nice straight to the point and simple with here you get a, a standard just cable for your charging to make sure this is powered on and there is the power cord right there so this is very simple you just plug it in and then you are good to go now the material on this stuff seems very good it doesn't seem cheap at all it is tiny this one compared to some of the other ones that i've seen before but it doesn't feel cheap at all it feels very very well made it has two AAA batteries, which is very, very nice. And before we get to the remote, this remote is very special. So let's get to the device here. First off, it does have the HDMI already there attached to the box. So it's all there and ready to go. The first thing I notice here is the TiVo sign right there. That's very, very cool how they did that. Very neat. The plastic around this thing feels just basic, doesn't feel heavy duty, almost feels a little bit on the cheaper end. It doesn't feel like compacted or heavy, but that's okay as long as everything inside is good stuff. Now here at the bottom, this is going to be your DC. This is your power right there. On the side here, if you turn over, this is where you're going to have your USB-C port. Now all that is, is if you want to do like an extended memory, stuff like that, you could definitely do that. On the bottom, there's nothing, just some of the, the numbers, the models, stuff like that, just basic stuff. And then here on the side, this looks like it's going to be a reset button here if you ever need to. So that is right. So there is the, the, the box itself. Now let's go ahead and look at the remote. So first off the bat, on the hand, it feels very comfortable. It doesn't feel too big how some other remotes are where you have to like really stretch and it doesn't feel like your hand is too big for the remote itself. It just fits very, very comfortable to the hand. Now, some of the buttons that you get here, you get the power button here at the top, you get your input, your guide, the TiVo button, which we'll find out exactly what that is. You got your mute, that looks info, up, down, left, right, the center button, enter, then this is probably going to be your Google Assist. Here is a return button. This might be settings, skip live, a huge giant Netflix button, a bunch of numbers. So everything looks pretty good. It did, I thought it did say that it was going to be voice. So if it is voice and it does use Google Assist, I'm guessing it's going to be this one right here. In the back, this is going to be very, very nice how you just put your thumb right there and, you, and it just pops right out and then you can put the batteries in there. Very nice and comfortable. This remote feels very good it's 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 excellent it doesn't feel cheap at all it doesn't feel like it's heavy but the material it, it seems like it's very very high quality with what you do get so let's go ahead and plug this in so here we go let's go over to the android device itself so there is your tivo now i can't show the screen here because my capture card is further into my computer so you, you can't see the cable there, but here's the remote and we're gonna do a couple things here. We're gonna turn off that camera left just to see what those settings are gonna be. Now, first off, I, and I'll go ahead and turn to my other camera here. It says here, pair your TV remote. So before to, before you begin with anything, it says you need, to, you need to pair the remote. So press and hold the TiVo button 
which is right there, and back button simultaneously until the activity light turns red. So we're looking for this light up here to turn red. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this on right there so that way you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. So there it is, it's going yellow. So it just says hold, press and hold. So there it goes, it's turning red, and then now it's it's kind of doing its thing. So it, 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 it flashed a little bit, and then now it, we're good. So here we go, I'm just gonna, and it looked like it did get out of sync and it backed me up, so let's go ahead and do that again. Press and hold the TiVo back button simultaneously until it, it turns red, so there it is, it's red. And now I guess it's searching for the remote, so I'm gonna let go of the buttons. It looks like it blinked a little bit. It's blinking again, and then it looks like we're good. Okay, so now that I'm moving it up and down, it looks like we're synced. So here we go. So again, it kicked me out again. <laughs> so I'm not sure why this remote is unsyncing and resyncing, but yeah, I don't know what's going on. So I finally got it to go through. I had to hit the English thing real quick and I had to just continue forward. Like I, I, I didn't wait too long and then it, it said, do you want to sync your phone? I had to say yes to continue and then it finally did it so i had to i had to maneuver through it really quick because it kept kicking me out i think it did it about 10 times before it actually worked so kind of strange that it would do that now i just wanted to show you guys the 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 keyboard here it is massive it gives you everything there so right now what we're going to do is we're going to set up the wi-fi and then we're going to check out exactly how this works so there we go it looks like it's connected successfully so now we're going to be waiting and see what it what happens next so so far the remote seems very very comfortable the only issue that i did have was it was getting out of sync as soon as i synced it up and i had to move very quickly to hit the ok button for english and then ok to set up the the android thing now i did what i did do is when i was going to set up the android i had to back out because the instructions were a little bit weird i didn't want to spend too much time so i backed out and then i hit skip and then i went into log into my wi-fi so very first thing right off the bat says tivo stream 4k firmware it's already doing an update right out of the box. So here we go. Now keep in mind when it does do these firmware updates, just leave it alone. Don't do anything until it restarts and it asks you to do something. Sometimes it won't ask you because it'll go directly to the home screen. Now if it does go to the home screen, that means you're good to go and the device is ready. So here you go. Once you start getting into the device itself, it's going to say sign into your, your Google. So I'm going to hit sign in and use my phone. Now all you got to do is follow the on-screen instructions on your cell phone or your computer, whatever it is. Click yes, click accept, click whatever it is that you want and then you are good to go. Now this is a very cool spot to look at. It says install all the following apps. So from here you got different options. If you want certain things, you can get it. What it does is search for stuff that I've used in the past. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna check some stuff and uncheck some stuff. And this is all coming straight from the Google Play Store. So once I hit continue, it's gonna add a couple extra things. So all I have to do is just hit next, 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 and finish and that should be it now one final thing that it will do is going to say to activate your 4k streaming device you have to go to this website and put in this code so right now i'm doing that now and i just keep in mind this whatever my code is right here it's going to be different from you it's going to be slightly different so all you got to do is just go to the website put it in it's going to it's going to ask you for a captcha and then activate the device once it says activate it says to continue your purchase you have to create a tivo account which is kind of strange but it reminds me a lot like the fire stick like the fire sticks to use it you have to have some sort of account logged in so once you are logged in it's going to say go ahead and log in activate the code and then the very next thing once it does do that it says start your sling trial free then when it does when you get that pop-up screen you see that it changed so it says success get 30 days sling free and if i want to start the trial i could i could like i could start it from here and check it out if i don't want to do it then i don't have to worry about it so from here with sling it says no useless channels no long-term contract no hidden fees easy online cancellation slings offers the best Live TV with over 45 channels, 50K on demand movies and shows, and cloud DVR starting at $30 a month. So I'm not a fan of Sling. That is my opinion. I do not like Sling. And if you guys want to check it out, you can. It has a 30 days there that you could check it out. So I'm, well, all I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. And then from here it says personalize your recommendations. So for me, like you, from here you could just choose Walking Dead or Grey's Anatomy. So me, I like Walking Dead. True Detective, Supernatural, I don't watch either of them. Alaska Frontier, Modern Family, I would 
prefer Modern Family, Officer of the Simpsons, Simpsons Every Day, The Godfather vs. Titanic, Godfather Every Day, Big Bang Theory, The First 48, neither of them, His Dark Materials or The Sopranos, of course The Sopranos, and then Pawn Stars or This Is Us, I, yeah, no, next. And you could keep going here, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit finish, some of you guys gonna be like, what, you didn't pick some of those? Sorry. <laughs> Add comedies to my shows, I'm gonna hit next. Add dramas to my shows, I'm gonna hit next. And then add reality shows, I'm just gonna hit next. So there's a lot of things here that it asks you. So it says choose streaming services. You could choose any which ones that you want here. You could uncheck some of them. So for me, I wanna un, un let, let's go ahead and check this and leave, leave all the checks on just because it's recommending it. And then I'm gonna hit finish. So there was a lot of steps to get through when it comes to that. We haven't even gone into the specs yet. So lots of steps. I wanted to show you guys every single little thing that you do get within there. Now, if you do come here to apps, if you click on this, there's your TiVo stream, Netflix, Sling, uh, update of Prime Video. Okay, so you got your Google Play Store, you got all the Google stuff there, YouTube, Hulu, Disney Plus, uh, the DRM info. So some of these were like a little extras that I've added. So this is gonna be exactly how the Nvidia Shield is gonna be without the Nvidia Shield price. This is a very this is a strong competitor to the Netflix price. So let's see, let's see what it is here. So I'm gonna go to the Google Play Store and I'm going to try downloader. I'm going to try that Google assist button and see what that does. Downloader. So I had to hold it a little bit longer to say downloader. Oh, here we go. Cancel, clear, 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 clear. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, so I didn't have to hold it. So it, the, the remote's a little bit clunky, I would say so far. Downloader. There we go. So all it does, it sends you to YouTube or whatever it's recommending depending on the app. So you can't use it to get to the Google Play Store, which is okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go directly to the Google Play Store. So you do just press it once, you don't have to press it a million times. And then here you get some of your featured stuff. So you just go to home and some of the stuff is just gonna be there at the top. Now, if, if you come down here, you're gonna be able to get some stream, stream the movies that you love. So again, tons of options there that you'll, that you'll have. If you come down further, you're gonna see top free, free movies, and I'm just I'm looking to see if if I if downloader will pop up, and it and it did pop up there, so there it is. So I had to search for it a little bit. I had to click install. Now with me with the remote, I will say I like how comfortable it is. How we're so far just clicking into everything. There's a slight delay, so I'm I'm used to click click click. Let's go, and it's it's a slight delay on it so far. Now everything worked pretty good so far. I just clicked it. It downloaded straight from the Google Play Store. So let's go ahead and back out of here, and we're gonna go straight to apps to see if Downloader is there. And I'm guessing it'll be towards there. It is towards the bottom. So it automatically adds it to your page right here. Now because this is running. It looks like it's going to be running at least Android 8. I believe Android 8 was when they started adding the security option. So it's going to say you have to allow it. So all you got to do is just click allow, allow, and then hit the back button and then just hit install again. If, if whatever you're going to be installing, it just depends. For me, I'm, I'm trying to get file link right here just to test. Now let's go ahead and look at all the se the specs that you get within the device. And let's see exactly what you get. So the manufacturer is SEI Robotics model tv stream 4k and the hardware is using m logic right now i'm already loving the m logic it has two gigabytes of full ram you're hearing that right two gigs of full ram now the internal storage i believe it's advertised at eight gigs of of hard drive space and after some of the apps that I, I it said, do you want to download this? Yes, go ahead. You want to download this? Yes, go ahead. I'm left with four, a little bit over four gigs of internal space. Yikes. It's, 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 it's very small. So you want to be careful when you do get some of the stuff you got. You, you're going to want to treat this just like a fire stick where you don't want to upload it with too much stuff on it. Now, as far as the CPU goes, this is running a 64 bit arm v8a cortex a53 and it is a quad core if we come here to the display right now it is picking it up as a 1920 by 1080 and the gpu is running a molly g31 it does look like in the network section it supports 5g so it's going to have that dual wi-fi which is good and the other thing was a bluetooth it was version 4 
Now this is running Android 9 and the device is not rooted. Now as far as the codex goes, it runs MP4, AC3, EAC3. It looks like it's going to have even some of the raw stuff in here. MPEG, FLAC. It's, it looks like it's going to have some good audio for surround sound. Now when it comes to the quality, it looks like it's Dolby Vision Awesome, which is great because it's definitely going to be able to support that 4K. It has H.263 and for the for the video, it has the HEV, the, all the different HVC. The only one I'm missing, it has, let me see, it has the 263. I don't see the 264 or the 265, but it does have the MPEG. Just the, the, the Dolby Vision automatically, I'm just like, that's great. So that's what you want to look for. And Logic Dolby Vision Decoder, awesome. So that's really, really good that it has that. So there you go. I wanted to show you guys some of the specs there. And it looks like it's going to be very promising. The one and only thing I had an issue was with, well, it was just the remote. I don't know, maybe my fat fingers were pushing some of the stuff away. Um, the back button, I'm not really sure. I'm pretty sure I wasn't clicking on that back button. And it kept just, it was almost like it was possessed. Like it was just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Until I finally clicked my language, English, and then... We're good. We're solid. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Make sure you guys do subscribe. Leave me a comment. Hit that thumbs up. And as always, you guys take care. Take care of each other. And I'll see you guys soon.